In this video, I'm going to try to do something that I don't normally do. I'm going to try to make this video short. It's not a hard video at all. It's very simple. All you need is a custom recovery and a zip that you're going to download from Billard 413's thread. I think I said that right. Billard 412, 413. I don't know. But anyways, I'll have a link to it in the description below. And this is annoying. And I'm trying to get this hair off of here. And we have success. But anyways, so what I did was I backed up my ROM. I am on CM10.1.2, I believe. It's the very latest stable build, that's all I really know. And it works wonderful. Like it makes the S3 butter smooth. Uh, anyways, I wanna go ahead and show you something else real quick too. Not only does this quickly get you back to 100% stock, it also resets your flash counter. So if we hold the volume up, the power and the home button down, we should see download mode, I believe. Hopefully I'm, okay, I chose the wrong combination. That's actually recovery. So when the recovery boots up here in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again and put it into download mode instead. So home, up, and power are all is uh, recovery. And then volume down, home, and power is download mode. And I'm gonna show you the um, flash counter. No. It thought I pressed the, dadgummit. I have this huge uh, 7,000 milliamp hour battery on here. Uh, I have a 9,300 in my Note 2 and a 7,500 for my AS4. So <laughs> I, uh, I really like not having to charge my phone. But anyways, uh, hold down the volume down button with my thumb, the home button with this finger and this thing, and we should see download mode in a second. Awesome, so I'll press volume up to continue. And then up here, I will zoom in. Hopefully you can see that my flash counter is at a single one, like just one, one time, one flash. <laughs> one time that I've been in download mode and flash something to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to reset that, which is uh, it's very, very, very easy. So let's go ahead and get out of this and let's go to uh, the phone's web browser. This is all without a computer. We are not using a computer. We do not have the zip on the SD card. The, I promise you, this is 100% from the phone itself and nothing else. The beauty of this is you could walk into the freaking Sprint store and while you're waiting in line to get your phone serviced, if you have this zip on your SD card, you can simply, um, you know, <laughs> boot into recovery real quick and then uh, flash this ROM and you, you, when you hand your phone to them, it's 100% stock with the flash counter reset. So it's pretty freaking awesome. All right, I made a very, very simple way of doing this. You don't even need to click on the link in the description. Unless you're watching this video on your S3, then I guess you could, you know, expand the description on the S3 by clicking the little arrow button that expands everything and then clicking on it. But so what we're gonna do is simply launch the default web browser on our Galaxy S3. I was, I have the beta swift key cloud thing. But anyways, uh, we're going to go to B-I-T dot L-Y slash, and my wife's calling me, one second. Anyways, so uh, my Note 2 is my phone with service on it. Uh, it's right here. A huge freaking battery, just kind of like, <laughs> you could squash the S3 and hide it completely. But uh, anyway, so we're going to go to bit.ly slash, um, S, capital S, and then the number three, and then the capital S, T, O, C, K, uh, S3 stock, and then press the check mark button, go, whatever. You can browse it on Tap of Talk, or you could just use the browser, so let's use that, for example. And then it'll take us to the forum, by, and now I can actually see his name, <laughs> and may, Billard412, so shout out to him for making this awesome super simple method. All right, that should be a little bit easier to read. So all we're gonna do is, uh, please keep in mind, this is the 16 gig version of the S3. If you're using the 32 gig version, then you will need to download the one meant for the 32 gig. Uh, well, see right here, new MD4 with count reset, 32 gigabyte only. So since we have the 16 gigabyte, we're gonna need to go up down over here and press on this one right here. And then it's gonna take us to Android file host. Android file host is amazing. And um, very, very fast. So thank you very much for hosting on there. Gouda IM and DevHost have been just terribly slow lately. So uh, this whole thing will pop up. You just press on it 
and you'll see in your notifications that uh, the MD4 with count reset is being downloaded. And it'll take a minute. It's a pretty big zip. Does the, the file size is actually right here somewhere. Oh, 834 megabytes. So depending on your internet, this could take a while. So, yeah. I'll be back when this is finished. Unfortunately, that took way, way longer than I ever wanted it to. And I have very fast internet. This is how we're going to do it. And also, please make sure you have the very latest version of the Google Play Store. All you got to do, or not the Google Play Store, but I'm sorry, your custom recovery. You'll go to install OpenStreet Recovery. You'll press yes. And you'll see that we have 2600. Press yes again. And you'll see a little counter. It'll say 10, 9, 8, 7. You know, each wait for it to count down. And then at the top, you'll see that it's downloading the custom recovery. I have paid the $10 fee or whatever, so I don't have to watch the countdown timer and uh, yeah so <laughs> i just uh i don't like waiting and uh, i like having faster priority downloads than people that don't pay so as you can see it's downloading the latest custom recovery is being installed and we're just going to press reboot recovery and we're going to press yes uh, as you saw the earlier you can hold the volume up the home and the power button until you see booting recovery and then you can let go so since I showed you that, I'm going to go ahead and do it the easy way and just reboot right into recovery. Usually I don't do that because I want to show you the manual way in case you're, you know, not able to get into Android or you don't have a reboot to recovery option in your ROM. So here we go. This is very, very simple. You literally don't have to do anything other than click install and find the download. So install and then we'll go to our download folder right there. And then there's the zip, MD4 with count reset. Press on it, swipe to confirm flash. And I don't believe you have to wipe. I don't believe you have to do anything because it's gonna do all of that for you. All right, the screen automatically turns off. It's just something that Twerp Recovery has built in. You can change that if you don't want that to happen. It installs the MD4 modem. It installs everything. It's, and then it, re, you know, your, re, I can't even freaking talk. Your flash counter will be reset and everything. This has been brought to you by Billard412. We're just going to go ahead and press reboot system. It's going to say install super SU. If you're wanting to remain stock for warranty purposes, make sure you press do not install. If you're wanting to be stock with root access, swipe to install. When it reboots, super user will pop up and or super SU and it'll ask you to update your binary and everything and everything should go smoothly. But since we're returning back to stock, we're gonna go ahead and press do not install. Cause this is for like, if you, you know, we're having problems with your custom ROM or you had a stock ROM, but you had a lot of root things on there and your flash counter was like, you know, if you had, <laughs> If you had some numbers in there, like one, two, three, four, yeah, anyways, it's hard to explain, but it resets your flash counter, and if you sit there and flash like custom recovery and custom kernels and stuff like that, it's going to keep increasing your flash counter, and with this zip, get you back to 100% stock with your flash count reset. So if the Sprint store decides to, you know, to go to your go to download mode, and they see that there's like one, two, three, four, five. They know that you altered your phone. And with this ROM, with this uh, zip, they won't know. They won't know anything. They'll never know that your phone was rooted. Unless you come in there and you have, you know, Titania backup and a lot of other stuff on your SD card. So make sure you remove anything that has to do with root that's on your SD card. In fact, I would just take your SD card out of the phone and hand it to them <laughs> without the SD card in it. All right, so I gave it a few minutes. We're stuck in a boot loop, apparently, or at least it's going to take a very long time for it to get to the system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot into stock recovery and do a factory reset, which should uh, get us out of this boot loop and should boot up just fine. So, And we're going to keep holding it until we see recovery booting. And then we can let go and we should see stock recovery, which we do. 
And then we'll just go down to wipe the cache, press the power button, and then when that's done, we're going to go to wipe factory reset, press the power button. It'll make you go all the way down to yes, press the power button again, and then it's going to take just a second. It's going to format the data, and we should be good to go. All right, so it's done. We're going to go ahead and reboot the phone now. Okay, so this is the first boot up after doing the factory reset. All right, this is the screen that we saw for uh, at least a few minutes, maybe even, maybe even several minutes. So maybe this screen will come and go quicker this time. I guess to solve that, you could have also, uh, where it says like, do not install uh, or install, swipe to install root access, you could go back and do a factory reset then, or you can do it when you have stock recovery. I don't know. You can experiment and try it. I would just install it. Once it's done, go into stock recovery, do a factory reset. And as you can tell, the lights down here are lighting up. So we should be good to go. It's not stuck in a boot loop anymore. All right, there we go. That did take a couple minutes, or maybe a little bit less than a couple minutes, but it did take a minute. So just be patient and let it finish. Uh, you should see some lights down here showing you you made progress. So for Google account, I'm just going to press no and then not now. And then I'm just going to kind of you know, uh, skip all this and not give them any information. You would see a little 3G or 4G symbol up here if you did all that, but this phone is not activated. I have my service on my note too. So uh, for here, I would press more information and then uncheck this little box, press the back button, and then there you go. Uh, menu, settings, about device, and you'll see that we're on 4.1.2, and we are on the MD4 build and the MD4 baseband. So we are 100% stock. Let's take a look at our app drawer real quick. As you can see, they are not in alphabetical order, so we're going to press menu, view type, alphabetical grid, and now everything's in alphabetical order. We do not have Super SU. Uh, let's check out the My Files and go to uh, the SD card that's in the phone and it looks like it reset it we have nothing in our downloads folder which we had that md4 zip before so it completely reset that there's nothing in here that will get us in trouble if we take it to the sprint store under the external sd card uh, this is what i was talking about you've got the titania backup clearly you had custom recovery because you have a twerp folder or a clockwork mod recovery folder where your backups are stored so there we go. And one last thing for in this video, I'm going to power the phone off and go to download mode and show you that our flash counter should be at zero. There we go. The phone just vibrated and turned off. Volume down, home, power, until you see uh, this little message right here. And then press volume up to continue. And look at that. It says zero, and we are on official, and we have not modified the phone at all. So the Sprint Store will not ever know that you rooted your phone unless you tell them, or if you left over some files that indicated you've been rooted before that on your external SD card, which, like I said before, I would just remove it, take it out of there. So huge shout out to Billard412 for putting this together. This is way better than hooking your phone up to your computer and, you know, messing with the flash count reset yourself and then flashing the tar with Odin or using a toolkit or anything like that. It's just one simple flash as if you're flashing a custom ROM and you're good to go. I would honestly download this, even if you're you're watching this video and you're not planning on going stock right now I would still download this 800 and something megabyte zip and I would keep it on your external SD card just in case you ever need to go back to stock but you're not near a computer so keep it on your external SD card unless you absolutely like need space and you have a small SD card if you have like a 16 gig or 32 gig SD card I would just keep the MD4 with count reset zip on that in case you ever need to go back to stock reset your flash counter, and take your phone in for warranty purposes. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, whatever you want to do. Just please share it, and please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I have many more videos coming very soon on the NVIDIA Shield, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note 2, HTC One, Galaxy S4, uh, and the Note 3 is coming out in a couple months. I'm getting that, and the new Transform Pad Infinity. Lots of new devices coming out. 
lots more videos coming very soon, so please make sure you hit the subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. And if you're on this screen, you do not have to pull the battery. Just hold the power button down for several seconds. I would say about 10. And I'm only holding the power button. No, I'm not pushing any other buttons. And then there you go. It gets you out of there, and it boots you back into whatever ROM you had on your phone earlier. I'm out.